I have two big announcements to share. One, 18 days ago, I married the love of my life. You know, that's really nice. Two, a couple weeks before the wedding, I accepted an offer to intern at... Dude, just make two separate posts. <laughs> I'm sure your new wife is happy for you, but just maybe don't bunch them up into the same thing. Hi, happy Monday. And welcome to all of our new subscribers to the Nick is Not Green channel. It's a little bit scary when like over half of your subscribers are just from the last week, but we'll see if we can get through it. While we wait for the dumpster fire that was last week just to settle down a little bit, let's just back up and look into something that's a little bit easier to swallow. As you can probably guess by like everything I do, I'm pretty unemployed. And you can also guess that I probably wasn't the best student. So if you geeks put the, the two factors of this equation together, you could probably come to the conclusion that my least favorite social media is the one and the only LinkedIn, the one-stop shop where you can find all the meatheads from your high school acting like Mark Zuckerberg while still posting about how much they hate Black Lives Matter protests on Twitter. If you're of the mindset that nobody cares about what you post on Instagram except for yourself, which is true, then just wait till you're on LinkedIn because it's 10 times worse than that. On LinkedIn, you get no face, no personality, no creativity. You follow the rules and then you get what you came for. And for most people, that means coming on the app every week, accepting some connections, reading a couple posts, and then leaving. But for every normal person, there's another one on LinkedIn that gets a little too wound up in the world of connecting and goes a little too deep into the culture of LinkedIn. And that's what I want to talk about today. So first, let's start off with our story segment of LinkedIn. Although our internship acceptance posts are the foundation of this social media, the abundance of inspirational stories would be the second layer of that cake. This guy has his LinkedIn title as a personal mission statement. When someone tells you that they are too busy, it's not a reflection of their schedule. It's a reflection of your spot on their schedule. A mentor once told, why, why does everyone on LinkedIn have mentors? Did I miss out on like the meeting where we all got assigned the person who was gonna mentor us like we're in Star Wars? The next time you ignore a friend or a loved one, do not say I'm busy. Instead, try saying, you're not a priority right now. Dude, I'd be pissed if I asked my friend to hang out and he just said, you're not a priority right now. Like, dude, just, Make up an excuse. It's not that big of a deal. Hashtag motivation, hashtag leadership, hashtag success. And so many of these stories are just like copy and pasted from other accounts. Like you'd think that a social media made for like professionalism and connections would kind of throw away the whole idea that you don't need likes or followers, but no, it made it 10 times worse. Every post I see on here is just a copy of another post in order to get likes. Here's a classic right here. A boy was going out of town for an important project. His mother was cooking food at the time. He told her about his plans. While discussing, she asked him to give her a knife from the cupboard. But while doing this, he held the sharper side of the knife and gave the wooden handle to the mother's hand. And then, and then fast forward, the mother's like, great job. And then the son's like, why are you so happy? And then she says, you kept the sharper side of the knife within you and gave the wooden side to me. Remember, Always keep the bitter experiences in life with yourself and take care that nobody gets hurt because of your bitter experiences. That boy was none other than Swami Vivekananda. It's always gotta be connected to someone. Dude, how else was he supposed to hand the knife to the mom? Hey, uh, do you mind grabbing that knife on the counter for me? No, no, yeah, I can go grab it for you. Here, one sec. Thanks so much. Yeah, so as I was saying, whoa, whoa, you asked for the knife. You asked for the knife, do you want it? Ah, here's a classic. I interviewed someone with a 17 month gap on their resume. I'm just curious, why the gap? Did your employer lay you off? No, I quit. My father's health declined, so I relocated to take care of him and spend as much time with him as I could before I had to say goodbye. That says a lot about who you are. We can always start a new job, but we can never get our time back with the people we love. I'd be like, yeah, that's exactly what I just told you. He will get the chance to work with us. Why? A person who knows when to leave a job to be there for their family is the type of person I want to work with. Who agrees? Who agrees? Apparently 225,000 people do. I'm surprised LinkedIn wins some, wins some bonus points for me because the first comment is a guy who linked a Reddit post to r slash recruiting hell of, of just a bunch of these posts copying and pasting the same exact story. The same girl made a post that said, stop looking for follows and start looking for friends. 
which is coming from a person whose job is basically just one of those gurus who teaches you how to get more followers and make more connections on LinkedIn. It's a lot of friends. It's a lot of friends. I was curious and I decided to go to her Twitter just to see like, like if she was connected within the LinkedIn universe or if she was like kind of big in real life. But no, she has 168 followers on Twitter. And her bio says 700,000 followers on LinkedIn. Same person who made a post that said, stop looking for follows and start looking for friends. I've met incredible people on LinkedIn. I want you to do the same. Okay, so we get to kind of learn how to grow our network, you know, maybe make the Maybe make the Nick is not green channel grow. Immediately grow your network in three steps. One, like this post. Comment below if you're open to new connections. Send a connection request to everyone that leaves a comment. So it's just a bunch of people who want to get a lot of connection. So she just wants you to send connections to a lot of people. That's like if I wanted to get like a ton of subscribers on YouTube and I was like, YouTubers, if you want to get more subscribers, link your YouTube below and then Go into the comments and subscribe to every single person. None of these people actually want to watch your channel, but it will give you that little dopamine rush up here. And that's the issue with these big connection circles is that all these people are on LinkedIn because they want a job. No one's like, let me get as many connections as I can. Let me grab them all right here because I'm looking for a new position and I'm sure one of these random people are going to work perfectly for my company. LinkedIn has this new thing where like, you can say how your name is pronounced and you can put it on your profile so people can click it, but they always tag on all this extra stuff, even though that's not the point of it. Hey everyone, my name is Shanae and I'd love if you follow my page. I post daily inspirational content. Okay, let's move on, let's move on. I believe in losing. I think you learn more when you lose than when you win. First person to ever talk about how losing might be good for you. I've been teaching my seven-year-old how to play Moncala, a game of strategy. I don't let her win. Winning is earned. Jeez, dude. She's like in second grade. Calm down. Play shoots and ladders or something. I had a professor in college that corrected me in front of the class. I started my presentation and apologized for being a little sick. Speaking of that, if my voice sounds a little weird, I'm actually a little sick too. A little sick and tired of how useless these LinkedIn posts are. And I think I have a bit of a cold too. He stopped me and said, Never start a conversation or talk putting yourself down. We can hear that you're sick. You don't need to tell us. Just get up and give 100. That's the other thing LinkedIn people do is they take something super mundane that should be like a norm. But because they're in that like capitalist mindset, they feel the need to talk about really normal things as if it makes them like superheroes. See, this is the same guy. I made it mandatory for everyone to take two days off in July. The overwhelming feedback was, I needed this big time. Yeah, maybe it's because it should be normal to give people days off. I don't know if you should be patting yourself on the back for giving your employees two days off, but he did hit that 100 emoji on the bottom, so. Okay, now that segment was super inspiring. I love those stories, but I'm ready to grow. And I want to know the next steps to do that. So let's move on to our next segment of LinkedIn, Steps to Success. Usually this segment includes some really nice and sleek graphics that tell you how to make big cash in an easy way. Here's a great one right here. Nine things successful people do differently. One, measure and track progress. Okay, I kind of feel like that's something a lot of people do normally, it's not special, but I mean, there's no, there's nine steps, so who am I kidding here? Let's keep going. Five, maintain a positive attitude and learn from mistakes. Nine, create goals. See, I think it's just this thing on LinkedIn where people are like, secrets to success. And they just say like normal things that everyone knows so that the other people on the site are like, yeah, those are great steps. I take those steps too. These are the same people who are like, you gotta get off Twitter. It's not good for your brain. Start doing something that's like, pushing you forward every day. 2021, please be good to me. 10 attitudes for a better 2021. Look, I feel bad, I can't hate on this guy. This is a, <laughs> this graphic is so cool. But come on, this one, a list of each of the tips from hashtag 30 tips in 30 days. That's a different type of power move just to smack your face on the first page of your PowerPoint. Four steps to a life of purpose, a different approach to goal setting. Okay, that photo, that's pretty cool. Oh, and these ones are cool. The picture of the guy starting to open up the cool car. Extraordinary habits are what allow people to perform at an elite level. This guy's habit seems to be 
waking up and then standing in front of a wind turbine for two hours before he starts his day, am I right? Sunny did change it. Oh, and this is an interesting graphic right here from the Thick Shake Factory. Even Santa Claus is dancing after finding out about ice cream cakes, which come in four different flavors. And it's just like a flyer made in Microsoft Word with this horrifying CGI Santa Claus doing a duck and roll onto the screen. Can't see what number I need to call, but this is even more epic than that. The founder of the Thick Shake Factory. If you're born poor, it's not your fault. But if you die poor, it is your fault. You know how like more than 70% of people who are born into poverty just like die in poverty it's because they're not on the grind guys if you wake up and there's no food on the table you gotta find food to put on the table poor people got the right set of knives in their mind but don't have the right mind set in their lives Okay, these steps to success are great, but I'm not a businessman. I'm a YouTuber. How do I become the next big YouTuber? Well, lucky for us, there's a whole culture on LinkedIn on how we can grow the channel. Oh, whoa, what is this? How to get more views on YouTube in 2021 in under 60 seconds. We can see how this guy turned his life of depression with 46 views to super colorful and he cured his eyesight and he has 10,000 views full link to video in the comments let's check it out looks like he tagged every single person he's connected with in the comments below got to understand the context understand who are the people what kind of people are going to be watching Dude, i'll tell this guy how to get more views he's got to stop spitting into the mic so much hold on a second this guy posted this video five days ago on how to get 10,000 views on YouTube. And the video only has 134 views. Dude, you cannot put a thumbnail where you're talking about how to get 10,000 views and your video has 100 views. I'm sorry. Yo, this guy's thumbnail is crazy though right here. Kinda hypnotizing me a little bit. Hello, I'm Professor Nandez, and I can help you craft a compelling message that will help you earn more, grow faster, and stress less. If you need help with any personal branding or... Just, just cut off. <laughs> okay, I'm being too critical. I'm being too critical. Let's take a step back and, and go bigger. I found this video that I'm very excited about where... Gary V, yeah guys, Gary V, I'm so excited. Talks to Charlie D'Amelio about how she should grow her brand when she had 20 million followers on TikTok. And I mean, now she has over 100 million, so whatever he said had to have skyrocketed her career into eternal fame and stardom. Um, so my next question is, as of right now, I'm just doing TikTok, mm -hmm. Instagram, and what would be the next step to grow my Brand. To quadruple down on TikTok. TikTok is in a place similar to all the platforms before it where right, it, this might be a little bit boring of an analogy but I'll give it to you anyway. This is like real estate. And in the 1800s people- Dude, no one, you're talking to like a 16 year old girl. She doesn't want to hear about real estate in the 1800s. TikTok is so unique right now. The right answer is at this second and you may ping me in six months and be like now and I'll be like, it'll be totally different. But right this second, my actual answer is to massively triple down on TikTok. Okay, so let me break down what he said. He didn't say anything. Dude, what does that mean? I'd be pissed if I flew out to talk to Gary Vee and I went in this high rise apartment in this, in this conference room and I'm sitting there and I'm 16 and I'm like, Gary Vee, what's the secret? I want you to quadruple down on TikTok. Dude, what does that mean? She was already on TikTok. That was her thing. She got 20 million followers from dancing on TikTok. So what you're gonna wanna do is just do what you're doing now. He could have texted her that, you know? Dude, I'm sorry. I don't know if I have a demographic of people that like Gary Vee. So don't be offended when I say this, you know? I don't mean this in any harsh way. You can watch him if you want. But Gary Vee is such a dork. I swear, he just says everything in like the most confident, like I know more than you way. And then all these dudes just eat it up and they're like, man, it's Gary V. I need you to quadruple down on TikTok. They're all in the conference room like. The attention is so underpriced on TikTok. Like that doesn't mean anything. The new episode of overrated, underrated. Part seven. Is properly rated. I think Elon is underrated, but I think SpaceX is proper. Dude, how could you possibly think that Elon Musk is underrated. He is the richest man 
in the entire world. Gary V. This guy is just in a different world. You should not listen to this man. Him and his little like guru bubble. Dude, Elon Musk underrated. Dude, he's the richest man in the world. We're talking about the guy who priced one of his Teslas at $69,420. You think he's underrated? This is the guy who named his kid I don't even, I don't even, I don't even. You got a quadruple down on TikTok. I think we made some great progress today. If you like this video, the best thing you can do for the channel is share this video with someone who you think might like it. And of course, subscribe if you haven't yet. This week's Gamer of the Week is Damien Gaming. If you want to be the Gamer of the Week, just leave a comment down below. Let me know how you liked this video. And if you want to see everything else I do, I left all my links in the description down below. That's it for me this week. I'll see you next Monday. And uh, oh, I got a quick business call. One second. Yeah, no, I can do it.